Rebel 5 is the latest version of the award-winning digital painting software with physical color mixing based on traditional pigments. The new release introduced a lot of exciting new features, such as nanopixel, macro zoom, live link with Photoshop, the ability to record time-lapse videos, and much more. First released in 2015, Rebel tries to offer a new way for digital painting that mimics the behavior of real-world painting, like fluid flow and blending colors on canvas. Rebel 5 now comes in two different versions, standard for $89.99 and a pro version for $149.99. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the new features that were released in this latest version. Of course, keep in mind, in this video we'll talk first about the pro version, but only the newly introduced features in this new version of Rebel 5. Arguably the most exciting pro-only feature in Rebel 5 is the nanopixel technology feature. This new AI deep learning technology for upscaling your canvas allows you to bypass the limitation of pixel drawing. The new nanopixel zoom, for example, lets you macro zoom into the canvas in real time to see basically infinite details as new details are generated based on the details of the small painting, and making it now possible to export your artwork to up to 16 times larger, and above all of that, while conserving sharp details. You can even, for example, import your old artwork and upscale them to a dizzying new height. But there has to be some details there so the AI can work with, because even AI can't enhance what's not there. To activate the nanopixel function, head to the visual settings and tick the nanopixel checkbox. Another great feature for the Pro version is the Photoshop Live Link plugin, Escape Motions Connect, which allows you to exchange layers between Photoshop and Rebel after installing the script in Photoshop. In Rebel, you can choose Export Layer to Photoshop, and a new layer will be added to your project. You can make changes and send it back to Rebel using the plugin. This allows you to take advantage of some advanced feature in Photoshop that Rebel lacks, like effects and masking. This is a really helpful feature. It saves a lot of time and makes the process seamless and easy. Due to the additive color system that digital software uses, which is RGB, you get a lot of limitations when painting. For example, in real life, if you mix blue and yellow, you'll get green, but on a computer, you often get gray because of how the colors are blended in an additive space. There are two ways to utilize this blended mode. You have natural colors and color pigments. Natural colors is on by default, and it works with everything but oils and acrylics. When enabled, when mixing blue and yellow, for example, you'll get green instead of gray. To use this feature with oils and acrylics category, you need a different feature called color pigments, which basically makes the color in the layer more vibrant with a natural shift in hue. By using pen pressure, you can simulate the shift in hue when you dilute natural pigments. In addition to that, you get the subtractive color mixing where yellow and blue makes a vibrant green, for example. Okay, now that we have all that out of the way, let's take a look at some of the standard features, which are included in the Pro version as well. Another property has been added to your brushes. You can now load multiple colors on your brush by enabling the multicolor brush property for oils and acrylics. Now, by sampling multiple colors, you can see that your brush is sampling previous colors, which gives a really unique effect by juxtaposing one color over the other. However, it has some limitations. So, for example, you can't really control or specify which part of the brush holds which colors. Also, the loading actually runs out. It would be better if you can control the loading so you don't have to sample the colors every stroke when using a dirty brush.
The state of the art color simulation has added a new property called pigment granulation, which is the effect of the pigment settling into the grain of the paper to create an organic pattern or texture. You can see the effect of the granulation if you add water and tilt to your brush. You can enable and disable the granulation from the visual settings panel. There are three granulation textures that you can choose from. Each will give different patterns in the paint. You can also control the strength and the density of the granulation. The brush stroke actually animates when it diffuses, but you can stop the animation by drying the layer using the fast dry tool or its hotkey F to actually stop the granulation. And new in Rebel 5, you can now change the diffusion speed. That is the rate in which the watercolor flows and settles. So if you want a faster performance, set this to its maximum. In addition, the update introduces a new dedicated mix and palette panel in the interface. You can now mix different blobs of colors that you can later sample from or mix together. You can control the opacity of the brush, you can sample and erase. Other features that this version has introduced is the Curve Editor, which helps you define a curve for fine-tuning your pen expression, like pressure and tilt, size, opacity, and you can adjust the curve for different paint modes, and curves can be saved per brush. Furthermore, there are new volume presets that can hold presets of different brush settings such as size, opacity, water splash, oiliness, and pressure. Also, there is now a new masking option, which is inverted masking. This allows you to paint inside a masking fluid layer, rather than outside of it, which is extremely helpful when you try to paint inside the line. This is not destructive, so you can easily enable or disable the painted layer. Also, you now have the ability to load multiple reference images in your workspace. Furthermore, in this version of Rebel, you now have a list of stunning full-color papers and canvases that you can choose from. And last but not least is the time-lapse record feature, which allows you to record every brushstroke and export your painting process as a video. You can adjust the video settings such as quality, resolution, codec, and frame rate. You can also choose a destination and adjust the capture interval, which is how long before taking a snapshot of your artwork. This is great if you want to capture a time-lapse video of your painting and share it on social media. If you want to see the full list of features and you want to try Rebel for yourself, follow the link in the video description. We hope you found this video useful. As usual, comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.